Hello everyone, thanks for tuning into today's second video. We're going to have a look at the weather in 10 to 14 days for today's second video. Day 10 will take us to the 23rd of December, Christmas Eve Eve, and we'll be able to extend out beyond that with the extended affairs. These um, ensembles, maybe on January a couple of weeks. We'll have a look at the CFSB2 at the end of the video for the next four weeks and for January, and I should get something back for you in a moment, just to say, Pat, first, hold on. <coughs> Oh, sorry, everyone. The first video of the day was our 6 a.m. UK weather forecast day. Wasn't well, the first video of the day was JMA Friday, actually, but there was no 6 a.m. weather forecast day. More about that in a moment. So check out JMA Friday if you'd like to do that. Like, share, and subscribe on both, both of today's videos. Thank you so much, everyone, for doing that. So, yes, I was a little bit unwell with the tummy this time. So, Wednesday, I was feeling better from the, the cold and the throaty virus. Have one day feeling better. And then yesterday, I had a stomach flare-up. So I'm just really, really fed up at the moment, <laughs> to be honest, with uh, this never-ending, sort of seemingly never-ending run of uh, poor health. You know, I just you know, all I want for Christmas is to feel better. You know, I don't care about presents, don't care about cars, don't care about anything. All Gav wants for Christmas is to feel better. Um, oh, anyway, uh, I thought I'd get a couple of videos done today. I'm still not feeling uh, very well, really. And once I get this done, I'm going to be off back to bed, I think, for the rest of the afternoon. But I wanted to do a couple of bits to let you know that I'm still alive. <laughs> um, anyway, please like, share, and subscribe. Thank you so much, everyone, for doing that. We only need to put around nine subscribers to get to 19.2k, so we're very, very close to 19,200 subs. Thank you so much, everyone, for um, doing that. Right, okay, we're doing a giveaway. Uh, so on Wednesday's live stream, we announced this. We are giving away the uh, Gazworthy's Dute uh, uh, cushion cover. We're giving away a pin badge. And we are also giving away, unbelievably, the uh, Gazworthy's 2025 viewer photography calendar. Now, that calendar has been absolutely immense. And so many people have, you know, uh, brought the calendar. It's been an amazing project to work with. We have one left over. So we decided to do a giveaway uh, with it. So uh, we're going to be uh, doing uh, just a, a random prize draw. So uh, the way you enter this is to um, click the emoji on Discord in the giveaway channel or email me at gowdweathervids at gmail.com. And uh, that's how you get put on a name picker if you're not on a Discord. We're planning to give this away on Sunday's live stream. So you've only got a couple of days to enter. It is like a little, you know, very quick competition. Um, however, if we're unable to live stream on Sunday, then, um, you know, we'll, we'll roll it over to whenever the next available live stream is. But somebody will win uh, that, uh, that uh, three-piece bundle, including the Gowsworthy's calendar suit. So if you want that, Completely free, then uh, email <coughs> email me at gazweathers at gmail.com. Ask me place onto the prize you want to the name picker or um, respond to the uh, to the emoji in the giveaway channel on Discord. Thank you so to James here and I, Jake, for sorting out another competition for us. Thank you so much, my good friend James, for doing that. OK, we're going to start off setting temperature. BCT is now sitting at 6.9. That's 2.3 degrees above the 61 to 1990 average. It's provisional to yesterday to the uh, 12th of December. Very, very mild first half to December. And uh, likely to stay that way as well, I think. Well, having said that, we do see some cooler uh, conditions here. So these are the GFS up red temperature absorption ensembles. We're looking at rugby today. The red line is the 30-year upper air temperature average for rugby. We're starting off uh, mild at the moment. There'll be a little bit of a tick down tomorrow. Then we're lifting back up again through the weekend. And much of next week, particularly the first half of the week, looking very mild. Later next week, there's a cool down. So as we go through up towards the Christmas period, slightly cooler, not cold, but uh, reverting back perhaps closer to average and then over and after christmas it looks like the um weather becomes mild again but it does look uh, very zonal i have to say so even this cooler period has a lot of up and down going on with uh, warmer and cooler sectors alternating uh with one another so 
overall, I suspect will be averaging out milder than average even in this period, to be honest. Precipitation-wise, it's uh, pretty dry over the next few days as well, the weekend and the early part of next week. Gradually turning more unsettled later next week, turning wet and windy through the middle and second half of next week. And those unsettled conditions could carry on up to Christmas as well. Temperature anomalies from the 13th to 21st of December could be uh, milder than average, quite significantly so. Precipitation anomalies from the 13th to 21st of December, which is actually the far north of the wise average or drier than normal elsewhere. The latest winter map from Earth, NorthSchool.net, shows we've still got high pressure dominating the weather today, but we have got some lower pressure out in the Atlantic and eventually all the high pressure is going to shift out to the west so at least we should um the weekend into next week we should clear out all of this horrible gloom and and dank murky weather that we've been having in the south and in the east through this week Fingers crossed. Right, this is how uh, UK Met Euro run is looking for uh, midnight on Monday. A high pressure south, low pressure north, exceptionally mild with those southwest winds bathing the country. Totally wet and windy through the middle part of the week, and then something a little bit colder end of next week. I would say cooler, really, but uh, you know, it will feel a little bit colder by the end of next week, but very quickly the wind will go back round into the west. I can't again, high pressure south, low pressure. Seven or exceptionally mild potentially through the early part of next week. Then cooling down, but not cold. Um, just a little bit cooler. Back to average temperatures, really. And looking rather unsettled with a strong northwest wind bringing showers into the north and the west. This is how the KMA is set up. Again, flats of Angate through next week, gradually cooling down after an exceptionally mild start to the week. And then heading up to Christmas. Well, attempted a little bit of a cold snap there from the northwest on the 23rd. But uh, basically, it's Atlantic all the way. High pressure from the Azores around Spain. Low pressure around Iceland. NEO very positive And a strong westerly wind is the result. BGFS midnight run. Again, all much of a much issue. The early part of next week could be exceptionally mild in some places. Very wet and windy around middle of the week. Cooling things down later next week. But not cold. Low pressure bringing further out to breaks of rain. And up to day 10 and beyond it, wind stays in. From the west to the southwest, high pressure south, low pressure north, and we continue to pump up those southwest winds. That gets the 29th of December, beyond Christmas, between Christmas and New Year, and absolutely no sign of anything cold in there. Right, well, let's move on to GFS 6 then. Again, drawing up that southwesterly wind, exceptionally mild early next week, then cooling things down with the wind shifting around very briefly and temporarily into a colder northwesterly to northerly. But it's very quickly cut off, though, by next weekend. <laughs> the next area of low heads in from off the Atlantic. Lots of pancake at day 10. High pressure from south, low pressure from north. And pumping up that very mild southwesterly wind. That's Christmas Eve, looking potentially wet and windy with that low to the west of Scotland. Um, and um, that's Christmas Day, so it could be a little bit cold, maybe kind of a few winter showers across the Scottish mountains, but overall it's a bright and breezy Christmas Day, and probably quite mild. Another low punchy front on Boxing Day could bring some very wet weather, that gets out of the way, and uh, then we're left in a showering northwesterly, and on and on it goes up to 29th of December. Well, that's a pancake, high pressure south, low pressure north, and income those westerly winds. If you're enjoying the video, please give you like, share, and subscribe. Thank you so much, everyone, for doing that. Why not drop a comment and let us know what you think about this and all of our videos and content, live streams, etc., 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 I mean, thank you so much, everyone, for uh, doing that. Tell your friends and family to subscribe as well. We only need to put on uh, nine subscribers to get to 19.2k. So if you could give us a sub, that would be epic. Thank you so, so much, everyone, for doing that, for Gars Weather Viz. Thank you so much, everyone. Right, GM. <coughs> I'll show you one GM again on Monday. High pressure south, low pressure to the north. And that carries on Tuesday as well. Uh, wet windy through Wednesday to Thursday, and then cooler from Thursday to Friday, back into those west south westerly winds again as we move up toward day 10 with high pressure south, low pressure north, a classic mild uh, Christmas Eve Eve there. And then finally, the ECM rounding it all off with high pressure south, low pressure north, pumping up that southwesterly from the Canary Islands. Uh, on Monday and Tuesday, a very mild start to next week to say the least. Then we flatten that ridge off and we turn things a bit cooler, rather wet, windy through the middle part of next week. 
Um, low pressure carries on punching through there as we head up towards day 10. We actually get a little bit of colder interlude there. Chris Eve, even as the low pressure heads through, we bring the wind around to the uh, northerly. It's only a one day wonder because by Christmas Eve itself, the wind is backing into a mild westerly. Uh, that's Christmas Day, looking mild, bright and breezy, you know, could be some rain in the south, showers in the north. Um, and uh, that's 28th of December between Christmas and New Year. Everything's driving in from the Atlantic. A total and complete and utter disaster for anybody who wants uh, colder weather in December or in Christmas, to be honest. Um, oh, another year. It's 14 years now since we have what I would class as a proper cold Christmas. I know we had um, a couple. We had, we had a couple. Like 2020 was quite a cold Christmas, wasn't it? Um, but but overall, you know, it's 14 years, 2010, since the last time you would say we had like a, a real cold Christmas, a bitterly cold Christmas, I guess. Um, so it makes you wonder how much longer we've got to wait, doesn't it? Or whether we'll ever get one. Maybe we'll never get one. Who knows? Anyway, this is a precipitation forecast based on that uh, ECM run from Tometia.com. Uh, we showering conditions to come in the north, mostly dry down in the south, then gradually turning wetter and windier as we head on into the second half next week. So wintry showers into the north of the west by the end of next week. Then we're back to rain and a mile southwesterly, and then back to wintry showers again by the 23rd of December. But remember, our back turns very mild again over Christmas. These are the options on the table within the ECM Ensemble today for day 10. The Icelandic Met Office gets us 23rd of December. 14 members of the ECM Ensemble with low pressure to the north and northwest. Winds coming in, perhaps from a slightly cooler west northwest direction. We've got 12 with high pressure just to west southwest, pumping up a very mild southwesterly. We've got 9 clean with chart and the operation won't run with low pressure. To the east, bringing a bit of a northwesterly. We have got another nine with lower pressure to the south, high pressures away to the northwest. Around that, we could bring in something a bit cooler, perhaps from the north temporarily. And we've got seven with low pressure northeast, high pressure to the southwest. That looks pretty mild with winds in from the west. In two weeks' time, these are the options that we've got. And it's going to get us to the 28th of December. 14 members of the ECM ensemble is keeping high pressure going to the west and generally a mild westerly wind. We've got 11 with high pressure south, low pressure to the north. That pumps up a very mild southwesterly. 10 with low pressure just to the north, bringing in uh, a mild westerly flow. We've got 8 with high pressure bridging in from the Atlantic. That looks quite mild as well. And then we've got another eight with high pressure to the southwest, low pressure to the northwest. And that should keep things pretty mild as well. Winds in from the west. Uh, so best be two finally. So uh, these are five hundred millibar height and knowledge. Break it down to wheat pits. The first wheat pit takes us to today the 13th. It's the 19th of seven. By the way, the CFS Sport Weekly run that used for Jeremy Friday was from yesterday. As I didn't do a video yesterday, you don't have two, but we could go at today. So, uh, usually, I'm not able to show this in a Ted Morton day uh, on a Friday after JMA Friday. But I can today. So, uh, week one with high pressure to the south and to the east, we drag up that uh, southwesterly from the Canary Islands. Week two is going to be the 20th, 26th of December. Low pressure. To the north, high pressure to the south, winds coming in from a mild westerly direction. Week three will be the 27th of December, 2nd of January, high pressure again to the west, southwest country. We bring in the wind from the west, and then finally, week four will be the 3rd to the 9th of January. On and on and on it goes with high pressure bringing a lot of uh, mild weather. From the west, CFSB24 January overall with high pressure over and to the south of the country, low pressure to the north, looking very mild with those west southwesterly winds. Temperature anomalies are significantly above average in the red shaded colours, and precipitation anomalies uh, drive an average of southwest and average in the north. Let's just quickly go back to um, the uh, GFS and we'll have a look. Our stratospheric developments, which I forgot to get up, but just see how things are doing um, there. So, again, blue curls, ever cold temperatures, 10 hate bay over the Arctic and the North Pole, back to the polar vortex at its roots of the stratospheric polar vortex. Right, well, we're going to get a bit of a warming next week over Siberia, quite a significant warming of the stratosphere, but short of an SSW. 
Um, and that says it by 21st December. So, yeah, we see warming through Siberia, but the polar vortex at its roots still well and truly entrenched over the Arctic and over the North Pole as well. In the more extended range, uh, we look like this. So that first warming fizzling out, another uh, warming starting to take place though from the Atlantic and towards Europe. So that's how we look as we get to a 29th of December. Stretching the PV a little bit, still well and truly in business and possibly a bit displaced, a bit of a displacement event there I think could be taking place with the coldest um, part of the pol stratospheric polar vortex into the North Atlantic and northern parts of uh, Europe. Again, though, way, way, way well short of what we classify as an SSW. We'll get nowhere close to uh, reversing the zone of wind. We'll have no particular impact, I wouldn't have thought, on uh, weakening the polar vortex particularly or, um, you know, changing the weather pattern. So uh, up to the end of December, anyway, the wait goes on. We shall see. Okay, but well, if you've enjoyed the video, please do like, share, and subscribe. Make sure you one for dear man. Why not drop a comment? Let's know what you think about this and all of our videos and content. Don't forget to tell your friends about gas weather. Get them to subscribe to show you one for dear man. Not sure how many bits we're going to do uh, tomorrow. It just depends how I'm feeling. I am feeling quite under the weather. Any <laughs> part of the fun um, today. So uh, I'm off back to bed and uh, hopefully I'll feel a bit better tomorrow but you enjoy the rest of your uh, friday obviously no live stream tonight by the way no pub run live uh, you enjoy the rest of your friday and uh, for this one that's all for now and thanks for watching